What's going on everybody? So the top news story going around right now is rapper 50 Cent files for bankruptcy. Before we get into it, I just want to make you guys understand something. 50 Cent, aka Curtis Jackson, is not a fool, okay? Um, for people that think that he's broke or that he doesn't have, um, you know, that he's really, um, you know, going on some dire times, I'm not going to say that you're foolish, but maybe you're just misinformed. So I'm going to try to help you guys understand something. Pretty much what happened was he had to do something to not pay Rick Ross's baby mama who sued him and he was just ordered to pay $5 million, I believe just three days ago. Okay, if you guys are not familiar with the beef between 50 Cent and Rick Ross, researching this all over the place, he made Officer Ricky tapes, all kinds of shit. He also, in fact, at one point, had Rick Ross's baby mama interview, um, interview with him and explain that he was a CEO. So, Lastonia is not, you know, completely innocent with this. People have to understand something. This is the situation here. Um, when you make big money, and you come from something that is not too nice, you make sure you put people around you that can always protect that money. This man is not a fool. He has people around him. It took him probably three days to separate Curtis Jackson from what his real worth is so that he can file the bankruptcy. Um, several people that we know, uh, well, one mainly, Donald Trump. He's filed bankruptcy several times. The man is worth billions. It's not about the word bankruptcy. It's about what you're trying to protect. And this is not a man that's just gonna willingly say, you know what, I'll pay Rick Russell's baby mama because that's not him. This is the kind of man that has a heart that says, listen, it's to the death. Like this war right now between me and Rick Ross is to the death. It's not something where, okay, I'm gonna lose and you know, I'm gonna pay his baby mama allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you, listen, th this is not something that people should read into. Okay, and it doesn't matter about all these other judgments that he has. He had to, he would rather pay the 17.2 million over allegedly ripping off a headphones design in 2014. It, it's not a situation where he's going to lose all this money. He made between 60 and 100 million dollars after that whole vitamin water thing. He's not that kind of person. This is, this is a man that came from the streets of Queens. You know what I'm saying? A hustler, a dude that was, that, that was a certified guy that people feared. And he knows that type of life. He knows what he doesn't want to go back to. He also knows that Lastonia, he, he interviewed her. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, she, she, look, it's not like she didn't know what was going on. Very, very similar to with the Bill Cosby situation. These chicks knew what they were going on. Yo, listen, I'm gonna tell you this right now. The Bill Cosby situation, I don't know, everybody that's listening to this video should share it with another guy or a girl that was ever invited over to somebody's house and it was liquor on deck, weed on deck, cocaine on deck, all that shit is on deck, whatever kind of drug is on deck. Yeah, you're willingly taking these drugs, but you know what you're going there to do. Bill Cosby simply was like, look bro, I'm Dr. Huxtable in the Cosby Show, I'm about to slip you a roofie. If you look at the court documents that were unsealed, Bill Cosby, a lot of the, uh, he, he stated a lot of the females knew that he was gonna roofie them. You know, it, it's just something, it, it, bro, it was popping like that back then. Dudes were getting date rape jobs all day. Yo, date rape, date rape drugs all day long, bro. I almost couldn't get it out and shit because it was coming off kind of crazy with the rape part and Bill Cosby in the same sentence, but you guys gotta understand something. It's not like Lastonia didn't know what was going down. She, listen, it's not coincidental that 50 Cent promises to release a sex tape. He interviews Lastonia, and then she gets banged, and a sex tape comes out, and she has no idea that it was happening. It, it just doesn't work that way, and she should be a lot smarter. You know that you know Rick Ross is doing whatever he's doing, and Rick Ross allegedly took her Jeep away that she had while she was in the store. Like nobody, you could see that she's pretty much allegedly a hood rat. So. If Rick Ross is doing shit like that to her, you know 50 gonna take it to the next level and pull up, you know, allegedly he's the person that released the sex tape. He was ordered to pay $5 million to her. This is specifically why. Notice, he didn't do it off of this with the ripping off the headphones design in 2014. Notice that. But for $5 million, he would rather go and say, you know what? Fuck Curtis, you know, who I, you know, my, you gotta understand, it's separate. He has to say fuck his other individual self and worry about his business self. Either way, he got money. Don't believe the hype. Bankruptcy is a very strategic way in America 
to get away from paying debt. And like I said, Curtis Jackson, AKA 50 Cent, came from some of the same streets that I grew up around with my family. And regardless of what happens, look, I understand I understand most of the stuff that he's done, a Ja Rule, shit like that. You're taught a certain way. And it's war, it's, it's all out war. You know what I'm saying? And, and when Rick Ross, whatever the beef was, whatever was going on, he wasn't fucking playing. And, that, and that's just, as simple as that. He wasn't fucking playing. He took it to the level that people didn't believe that he was going to do it. He fucking did it. You know, his voiceover was hilarious on the, on the sex tape, whatever. Allegedly, that was him. I don't know. But that's what this is about. He would rather just say, you know what? Let me show these idiots that I'm smarter than them. Because the worst case scenario that happens now is he's ordered to pay a very, very minimal portion of that $5 million, And he laughs all the way to the fucking bank. This is what people do when they have a little bit of insight to, to, to the type of people to keep around them. You gotta have the right accountants, the right lawyers, the right people around you that they can explain the pros and the cons. Because if you tell your accountant, I don't wanna pay this fucking stupid bitch anything, they should let you know that this is the smartest thing to do. And that is exactly what he's doing. And it's part of the game. It's no different than when fucking this guy Donald Trump did it. It doesn't matter that he happens to be a man of color doing it. He's showing people that he can also do the same thing. And he's gonna be still living the same exact way. This ain't no going Mike Tyson broke selling your mansion type shit. This, this is not what he's doing. He's simply removing his assets to something else, maybe another name, and moving on with his life, and he's gonna fucking make this $5 million go to probably like 100,000. Simple, even if he has to pay any of it. But I'm pretty sure him and his, you know, him and his intelligent law team figured out exactly what he would have to do. And that's it. So don't believe the hype. 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson, whatever you wanna call him, is not broke. Do your research and understand the technicalities that go into it. The man would rather file bankruptcy than pay Rick Ross's baby mama who knew what the fuck she was doing. Who went on and sat with 50 Cent and said, yeah, he's a CEO and did all that shit. He'd rather fucking file bankruptcy and, you know, 10 years, change, you know, fuck his name up. His, what the fuck does he need credit for? He's a millionaire. Who gives a shit about credit? You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, fucking Michael Jackson's uh, TransUnion score was like in the 500s. Who gives a shit about credit when you have millions of dollars? Just It's just food for thought. I wish him the best, bro, because I know what it's like when you say, look, I'm not paying shit, bro. There's certain people we're going to pay. There's certain people we're not going to pay. That's it. It don't matter. All you guys know that. You got certain bill collectors, you're going to say, yo, go fuck yourself. You got certain ones you're going to pay. You want to keep your phone on? You're going to pay fucking Verizon. You're going to pay fucking AT&T. But you may not fucking pay that cable bill and then just be like, yo, you know what? I'm going to use the fucking, I'm going to use my homie shit, his Wi-Fi, and stream something tonight. It's always a way around everything. I hope this explains some of the situation. Definitely share it. Give it a like. Until next time, it's always one love.